but um, a, a difficult one to, to start with this, Nathan. I think you'd probably agree that Durham needed the ball a lot tighter and better than they did there and put pressure on Lancashire today and it just didn't happen. Yeah, they got away to a really, really good start and it was hard to claw back. Um, I think two things. I think Keaton played very well. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap. He played outstanding. It was a great knock. Um, but I think we know we can be better as well. Um, our execution was slightly off and um, you saw the result for that. I think the, the worry from a Durham point of view was you, you were playing on the same pitch you'd played Derbyshire on a, a few days earlier and it was really slow and it didn't offer anything for the bowlers on that occasion. So I'm just wondering if some of them had that in the backs of their minds as they were coming into this game today. We probably expected it to be a little bit slower, to be fair. Um, I think it played a lot better than what it did. I think probably um, the rain and the wetness of the ball maybe just helped it slide on nicely. Um, and it was pretty good for batting. Um, a little bit more than we thought, I'd imagine. Yeah. Now, you've experienced a lot of 2020 over the years. You get the sort of form, a plan in your head when you know when a game's running away from you. And if, as you say, their opening stand of 170 the best partnership by anybody against Durham. It's the best partnership by Lancashire against anybody. You know the game's already slipping away from you at that stage and it's an insurmountable task with about three or four overs left of their innings. Yeah, it's, it's, it's hard to call back sometimes. I think you just got to literally think anything can happen in this game. Um, I think we were probably staring down the barrel of 210, 220 at one stage. So I think we actually did pretty well um, to keep them to 190. Or, um, we gave ourselves a chance. A couple of times went differently with the bat and we, we were in with a shot. Um, even still, got, uh, things didn't go our way in the power play and, and we, we got down to, you know, a 30 off the last over situation. So you do just have to keep hanging in there in 2020 and, and have that hope that anything can happen. Now, you've been given the captaincy this year. There hasn't been much time to prepare. You've got a fairly youngish squad, haven't you? And I mean, you know, star names aren't here, are they either? It's going to be an interesting one to see where squads are this year without their overseas stars. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, short memories, short memories of uh, this game because it's a quick turnaround. Um, so we'll focus on the things we did well and everyone can just have a little think about the things they need to do better. Um, but yeah, as you said, um, not much preparation. So, and with the, with the weather around, um, makes things a little bit difficult as well. So, um, yeah, I, I'm sure the guys will have a good think about it and, and be up for the next game. Yeah, and that comes quickly. It's Nottinghamshire, isn't it, on um, Saturday? You haven't got long to dwell on this at all. Absolutely. So, like I said, uh, short memories. Uh, think about, yes. remember the good things you did well and, um, yeah, just tidy up a few of those areas and, um, yeah, we'll be in with a shot for sure.